Countdown Show with me, Alex Jones, and my Friday co-host, the coolest cat on Countdown, is John Richardson. Hello, hello there. Hello. It's good to be back. Um, also tonight, let's say hello to Philip Morris. Philip here calls himself the Indiana Jones of lost television, and he's back from his latest adventures in Africa with some TV treasure, which is footage of a legendary double act that hasn't been seen on British screens for 50 years. Ooh. Yeah, who indeed. Give us a bit of a clue as to who it might be. Bring me sunshine. Ah. Uh, well, that's quite a big clue, to be fair, isn't it? Cheers, Philip. Ball. Now by Philip Morris, who we are describing as an all-action archivist. How does that sit with you, Philip? That sits quite well with me. I'm quite, <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. What about you, you certainly Diana? dress for the title. <laughs> well, kind of, yes. Yeah. Um, so tell us about some of the classics then, because you go off around the world looking for um, lost film and television classics. Yes. So what have you recovered then to date? What sort of well, things? to date, I think it's uh, some of the 1960s Doctor Who starring Patrick Troughton, the uh, the Web of Fear, the Enemy of the World, which are the fans just went crazy about when they were released. I think they put them on iTunes in America and they knocked Breaking Bad off the top of the charts. Did That's they? how crazy they went in America for these these stories. So it's, it's great news, you know, so it shows how popular that's becoming in the States. Uh, Steptoe and Son, I've completed the 1960s run of Steptoe and Son now. That's all in its original format. I've got to do the colour episode, which I'm kind of working on recovering now. Um, the rag trade. Uh, one of the classics that I found that I actually love was a 1968 Basil Brush show, huh? oh. which, is, which, is, which is the only copy that exists. And the special guests are the Kinks, singing wow. Days live on stage. That is and special. It, you know, so for, for the performance alone, wow. You know, it's yeah. British heritage. Absolutely. It belongs to all of us. And finding things like that, just it just sends my adrenaline running. And really when we does. say you find them, they're not... Mostly in lofts, these things. No, 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 no. They're all over the world. I go to Africa. I go to Hong Kong, Singapore. I go, I go absolutely everywhere. F strangely enough, I was just saying. I was going to mention to Gerard that I was in the Middle East, and, and Gerard does a commercial out there. And he's on the TV all the time, so <laughs> I'm kind of used to hearing Gerard's voice all the time. But yeah, I go absolutely everywhere. I, I get tip-offs with material. I get tip-offs in the UK. You know, the UK film collecting circuit. They are fabulous guys, and they are the bastion for saving this stuff, because yeah. a lot of our old television recordings were film recorded, and they've kept them. And if they, if they want to get in touch with us, send they us can. an email, or if you've got home video recordings, please, you know, you can find me on the internet, info at TIE. Yeah. Let's drop, drop us a line. Well, you found a real gem. Um, don't tell oh, us what absolutely. it is yet. I will not. But this promise. was one of his first broadcasts on the 14th of October, 1968. Here it is. <laughs> steps that I rehearsed. <laughs> it is a fine act of this fellow. Oh, yes. A fine act. Oh, oh, oh. Who is this anyway? Who is this anyway? This is no anyway. This is me. <laughs> Maisie! <laughs> Very good. Listen, I, don't just have any misunderstanding. I didn't want you out of the musical completely because I am honestly one of your greatest fans. You see? I should have been in this. <laughs> I love the routines that you do so much, you see, that little thing you do with Ernie, when you say, get out of that. I do that a lot with him. Yes. I say, get out of that to him. Yes. You can't move now. He's paralysed, aren't you? That's Tell him you can't move. I can't move. He can't move. What about the one where you play around with his wig? Pardon? His wig. <laughs> well, that one. Yes. Well, I say, you can't see the join. Yes. Another new one. Yep. Make a fortune in this series. Then there's a bit of carpets I'm using. What? <laughs> the bit with the glasses I love. Oh, I do that. I do that. Well, I go off and I, and I can't get the glasses in the pocket, you see. Yes, I can't see and I do that. Pull it out like that and put them in. Yes. <laughs> I like that one. One of my favourites, though. What's your first name? Michael. Yes. One of my favourites <laughs> is when I go like this. I like that. What do you think of that? I don't really care for that one too much. Oh, pity that. He doesn't like when I go like that. I don't go much on it myself. No. <laughs> but Eric. Yes, please. Do me a favour, will you? Certainly. Will you do my favourite one of all? You see? What's up? Get off. Oh. <laughs> That's the best line you've said in the film. Uh, and that, of course, was Morton and Wise with special guest Michael Astor. The BBC are ever so grateful because you found it in um, Sierra Leone, didn't you? I did, and indeed. And it's going to be restored, and hopefully we'll all get to see it uh, in the near future. Brilliant. Fabulous news. Thank you so much, Philip. Thank you, Alex.
Oh, no. uh, Matt will be here with Angela Scanlon on Monday and they will be joined by Al Murray. Have a great weekend. Thanks again, Gerard and Philip. Have a great weekend. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>